Hello, my name is Tina Shaw and I'm going to read to you today from my very new novel, Ephemera. I'm coming to you live from our book room in our house at River Road, which is appropriate because um, a lot of Ephemera is set on the Waikato River. And Ephemera is set several years into a global meltdown where New Zealand and the rest of the world is still in chaos. There's no electricity, no broadband, and people are in survival mode. It has quite a lot in common to do with the times we're actually going through now. And my main character, the narrator, is Ruth, who used to be an ephemeral librarian at Auckland Central Library. So I'm just going to read from the beginning. You know it could be a totally wasted trip, said my sister. It was a debate we'd been having for several days, ever since I mooted the idea of a journey. I was thinking that it would either be me going down south or nothing. The options weren't great at any rate. Yet even if the trip was wasted, at least I would have done something. We'd been hearing the whispers for what seemed like months, although in reality it probably wasn't that long. From the get-go it seemed more myth than reality. Prescription drugs stockpiled around the time of the crash were being traded from a base down south. It made me shudder to think of the kind of person who would have had the cold foresight to do such a thing, then profit from other people's misfortune. What kinds of actions would have taken place to secure these drugs in the first place and during an uncertain time when the rest of us were still in a state of shock? And what possible profit could one extract from such trades these days? Why would you bother? It hardly seemed worth the effort. It was all rather perplexing, yet beguiling at the same time, offering as it did a possible solution to my sister's gradually worsening condition. Juliana had contracted tuberculosis, that old world disease which, before the crash, had been virtually eradicated in our country, apart from some poorer areas like the East Cape, and a certain drug regime could cure her, or at least put the disease into remission. Let's call it Golden Pash, after the sugary Asian soft drink, because if you give something a silly name, I find, its emotional power becomes somewhat diminished. I had tried to get the drug, get hold of the drugs in the city, gone into the grubbier parts of the CBD, had searched out and met with random men out west, had searched various meeting places where drugs might be traded, but found nothing except rumours. Yet these rumours all told the same story. There was a man I had to go and see about some drugs. It was a long shot, although, as I kept reminding myself, even having some hope was better than nothing. And Ephemera is actually available through directly from the publisher's website, which is Cloudink, Cloudink Press. Thank you.